There are so many questions. Girl, it is just now beginning. Sounds like a great thing to do in your 30s. That was not the place for me. I still feel like I'm a baby 30 year old. That place, <laughs> that was a lot. That is crazy. Let me wipe my tears away from the last question. Let me try to get a little bit more whimsical over here. Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. My name is Jenica and this will be a solo kind of get to know me, life updates, ask me anything, life advice. I kind of asked for it all because I just wanted to sit down and chat with you guys and catch up. If by chance you were just clicking onto this channel for the first time and this is your first video, this is not our normal setting. I am in Gulf Shores, Alabama. Technically this is Orange Beach. This is Orange Beach and I have been visiting my sister for the last two weeks and I'm headed back home today. I've been meaning to actually sit down and do this the whole two weeks I've been here but honestly I've just been kind of living in bliss and before I was headed out this morning I just knew I would love nothing more than to come back out here one last time and sit and talk to my camera for a little bit. I truly 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 hope that the wind is not too bad. I have two like wind muffs on this and I hope that we can figure it out with the sound but I'm feeling pretty confident. If not we know how Q&A's go with me and if I need to re-record it it won't be the first or the second or the third time. <laughs> okay I am going to be pulling these questions from my question box on Instagram and like I said there's a little bit of everything. Okay. Okay, starting off strong, I love, 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 love this question. As a freshly 19 year old girl, any tips on trying to be more present and not trying to rush through life? Okay, girl, it is just now beginning. Let me tell you, from now on, you're gonna look around and pretty much from here on out, people are gonna start making these like crazy life changes, getting engaged, getting married, having babies. You're gonna look around and you're gonna be 25 one day and half of your friends are gonna be on their like second kid and half of your friends are gonna be like at their fifth concert of the week. You're just gonna, for, for the next like 10 years, maybe even more, everybody's gonna be at a different place. I think this is one of the things that I'm most proud of myself for doing. With me having a child so young and only having limited time by myself, you know, every other weekend or whenever I didn't have her, that was the time I was like, okay, I'm 19 right now. I get to be 19, I get to act 19, I get to feel 19. And I really tried to still be those ages every single year. Of course, when I had Annika, I was mom first and I was more, a more mature version of myself, but I still, you know, especially when I was with my friends or especially just in life, it was so important for me to still be making those memories. A 21 year old should, a 25 year old should, a 30 year old should. But it's also so very important to realize that like so many people do so many different things at like different points of their life. I feel like we're all coming around. I love that everybody's finally catching on to the 30s or the new 20s for sure. You just feel so much more confident and sure of yourself. So if you know that's coming, like enjoy your 20s. Like your 20s are for like asking questions and making interesting decisions and having fun, like really, really having fun, getting to know yourself. This is the first years that you're like out getting to do life by yourself and kind of on your own terms and it really allows you to kind of explore that and just be that. I still feel like I'm a baby 30 year old like I'm still in my young 30s but I already get so excited to like what is my 40s gonna look like what like what is the next decade I've always just tried to take life like as it came and, and really just enjoyed every step especially with having Annika and being so like that allowed me to be really sentimental for a lot of my life which I do appreciate but I think it's just at the end of the day it's important to not compare yourself to other 19 year olds just know that you are a 19 year old and you are doing life the best you can and you are allowed to make mistakes and figure it out. This is a fun question. What is something besides Miss AJ you've done that you're proud of? I definitely feel like as a mom, like you're most proud of your children. Like that is one time my friend Gretchen told me after she met Annika, she's like, now I really feel like I've met you. Like, I don't even know how I knew you before I had met Annika in person because she's just such a huge part of me and she is what I'm most proud of. But I think what I'm most proud of me, honestly, besides that is my little 18 year old self for getting me out of my hometown. I just, I, I knew that that was not the place for me and that's okay I have a really tough relationship with my hometown it was very toxic for me obviously my situation was like such a like dramatic hometown the homecoming queen getting pregnant like it was just I wasn't treated the best by a lot of people and I think that I don't want to like blame the town but like also f that place <laughs> But I just really knew that I needed to get out and against all odds and like nobody wanted me to, to leave. And I just knew that I was not going to live a happy life 
in that town. I didn't need to go far away. I mean, Florence, where we moved, was like, I could be there in like 40 minutes. Like it was not, it was under an hour. I didn't have to go far. You don't have to go far. But if you are feeling a pull from your hometown to just, if you if you know that that's not where you're supposed to be, or if, it, or if you're in a town, if you move to a town thinking, this is what I want to do, and you're there and you don't like it, you don't have to stay. Like, it's okay. I know that I want to live several places throughout my life. Like I want to live at least like three or four more towns maybe, hopefully. I don't know. I've, I've lived in the same 80 mile radius my whole 32 years of life and I just, now I know that I'm I'm ready to, I, I feel that again like I felt as a as an 18 year old girl. Like I, I just know that like, okay, it's now next. But I think that that was just such a huge big decision. And as an 18 year old, you just feel so, so grown. And I just, I did feel so grown then and, and I knew that I needed to, but like looking back, 18 is a baby. 18 is such a baby still. I am very proud of 18 year old Jenica. This one says, have you ever thought about writing a book? I feel like you're so wise. First of all, thank you. I don't feel wise. I feel, I feel like I've just been through a lot and I feel like I have like a level head about things. That's how I feel. But I actually, we talked about this at the beginning of the year. I've always known that I kind of wanted to write a book, what it was going to be about, whether it was fiction or nonfiction. I don't think that I ever knew that, but sounds like a great thing to do in your 30s you know what I mean I do want it to take a minute and I do want to like pour my soul into it and I want it to like kind of unravel over time so it will like be something I work on for a few years I imagine so yes I would love to write a book if you have any suggestions or if you've ever written a book if you've got like a A to Z on <laughs> what I should do let me know okay next up tell me all the health things that you follow because you've been glowing lately thank you so very much honestly I think it's because I've had my hair in the salt water three times this summer that's I think a record for me and I Beach Jenica hits different, but also I feel like it's definitely not a secret that I've lost a significant amount of weight, especially if you've been around on this YouTube channel for since we started. I have officially to date lost almost 80 pounds. I'm at like 79 pounds. And to be honest, I really don't keep up. Uh, that took me three years to do. I feel like in 2021 is when I, after after my breast reduction surgery is when I was like, okay, now I have the ability and the, and the, we live in an area where I can walk again. That's when I really fell in love with walking. It took me a year to lose that first like 30 pounds. I wasn't doing anything different like diet wise. Of course my situation changed. I was at home, I was able to cook more meals. I wasn't gone commuting to work, gone 12 hours a day, then going to dance practice and then doing a thousand things and then eating on the go. And you know, we really were in a, to we're in a totally different aspect of life. That's first and foremost. I'm not like a struggling single mom gone from my house. 12 to 13 hours a day living in survival mode like that that was a lot and I think it's important to note that also my weight gain did kind of happen very quick in under a year I had gained that 80 pounds I feel like I think I I gained like 60 pounds when I was put on two different life-saving steroids for my ulcerative colitis colon disease and then I think once I gained that 60 pounds in the next that was in like six months in the next six months I put on another 20 just kind of getting used to this new body I, I didn't even realize that I had like gained weight I don't know if that sounds crazy to people but I feel like I had the opposite of body dysmorphia like I still felt exactly the same I wasn't adjusting my clothes like I just I didn't feel like I had gained that weight and I would look at pictures and I would just be like that does not look like me so after this year that I you know gained this weight I looked in the mirror and I knew that I did not have time to focus on losing 80 pounds in a way that I could when my daughter was what like 15 at that point I was still working two full-time jobs completely taking care of my daughter trying my best to take care of myself and I'm just not someone whose weight has held that much value to the I'm fortunate that my brain has has been able to stay that way. The only other time in my life I had ever gained weight was when I went to college and I'd gained my freshman 15. I'd, it was probably more like a freshman 20 or 30, but I still was like, oh, well, this is what happens when you come to college. I kind of updated my workout routine and would start doing classes with some of my friends, but I just never held that much value in my weight. Now, that's not to say I did not struggle with learning to love this new version of myself but I knew that's the only option that I had that if I was going to make it to a point where I could get healthy again I was this was the body that I was in and as a girly with a chronic colon disease you know that if you can make it from point A to point B without literally like having a flare up that means more than any amount on the scale I was also just in such a thick battle with my ulcerative colitis that I my weight was just not a priority for me and 
I knew that I would be able to lose it healthy one day and I, and I did. So truly other than being in a better place in order to take care of myself better, walking is the only thing that I've done that has changed. I've always had a pretty good diet. Now, you guys know, I, I'm a sweet treat gal. I will have a sweet treat any chance I get, but I'm such a moderate, I have a colon disease. So I, I do have to kind of watch what I'm eating in moderation anyway. So my diet has not really changed. Now, of course, I, I'm always trying to be healthier and implement healthier habits into my life, but into my life, not that's not my lifestyle. Like I want to work with things that work with me and truly just finding my love for walking has, has changed my life. But to wrap up, I feel like once I lost that first like 30 pounds, you really couldn't even tell that I lost any weight at all. Like that first 30 pounds didn't make that much of a difference. The next 20 pounds that fell off was a significant difference. And the next 20 pounds probably took almost a year, but then y'all these last like 20, whatever -ish, have been so much easier, I guess, just because honestly my body is in a better place and I'm walking so much more. I started with just little 20 minute laps around my apartment complex with Luna. I started with little, not even 12 330s. I could do like eight 330s. <laughs> But then those 20 minute laps around my apartment turned into two hour walks at the park. And not only has it been so good for my physical health, it's so good for my mental health. Hello, editing Janica here. I did mean to actually touch on this, but I guess I just like got to talk in and forgot and then moved on to the next question. And then I remember as I was like packing up to my car, I was like, shoot, I didn't like clarify that. When I watched it back, I was like, no, it's fine. And then I just feel like it just needs to be added that in 2024, transparency is so very important and especially with like a job like this i do want to make sure that i'm always like being open and honest with you guys and i just want to clarify that i have never ever taken a prescription weight loss drug so specifically i have never taken ozempic i have never taken anything like ozempic i have not taken a weight loss drug now with that said they're great and if you're taking them take them and if you want to go learn more go learn more and talk to your doctor but i didn't even have a conversation with my doctor. <laughs> I feel like if this would have happened at any other time besides 2024, I wouldn't have had to explicitly explain that I did this the old fashioned way, but I did this the old fashioned way. I think that you guys know, like I would be showing you guys, I would be doing this with you. Also, this is like such a topic of 2024. Like I really would be just sharing my journey if that would have been the case. But I promise you in 2021, 2022, 2023, 20, any of the 20s, any of the teens, any of the 1900s. I think that it is such a wonderful, great option for those that need it. But, uh, but by the time I had lost the weight is when that came around. And also I have a, my colon, I don't even know if I could take anything with my colon disease. With that said, I just wanted to directly tell you, cause I, I talk to people in my comments, cause I get a lot of comments about it. And I try to tell everybody, I reply to all of them, but so. Hopefully, if you have been wondering, this clears up any confusion and um, yeah. Okay, love you guys. Back to the video. Oh my gosh, this is such a good question. What is the best way I can support my friend who is a single teen mom? Show up for her. Physically showing up, for, when my friends would show up to Annika's events, that's when, I mean, you can't put a price on that. Like I sat at so many dance recitals by myself. I sat at so many school parent teacher conferences by myself. I sat at so many programs by myself. But those times when my friends were with me, when my family was with me, when people were there with me watching my daughter, that is when I was the most proud. But anytime you can just like, hey, you're all going to lunch today or where, what are y'all doing for dinner tonight? You know, just, just cute little moments too. Like I think one thing that teen moms really want to feel is that they are still a teen at the end of the day too. So having that moment with girlfriends is really important. There are so many questions about next goals. What do you have a five-year plan? What's the next move? But I did kind of touch on this in my chit chat a few vlogs ago. I don't have any goals next. My goal next is to chill. My, my goal in life is to get my child raised. My goal since I was 14 was to get my child raised to 18 to the best of my ability. And that is what I have put my heart and soul into since I was literally before I had a driver's license. Okay, we've got, we've got to remember that. And I have some healing to do I, I just I wasn't expecting to like have this slap in the face realization of like what the fuck I had just been through like I've just always been so cool and chill about it that like this is just my situation and when people are like oh you have a kid that's crazy I'm like yeah no that's crazy that is crazy and I had a comment on the video that I appreciated so much it said it sounds like your next step is healing and that that is it that is it that is it I know that I'm a happy positive joyful person and that that really is who I am to my core, but that's definitely not to say that I don't 
struggle with mental health. I constantly battle anxiety and depression, which I think is one of the reasons I put off filming this video, to be honest. I've just, you know, I think it's just such a change of life that with, with the change comes so much nerves and sometimes those nerves can be confused for anxiety and sometimes that anxiety can just actually be anxiety. And I, as much as I am so excited for these next steps, it is, it is just crazy to unwrap the last chapters and what, what I have been through. And there is just gonna be a lot of healing that comes with that. I will say I have struggled with this for years and this community and like, honestly, oh, I was wondering if I was gonna make it through this without crying. Ooh. But really finding a family in you guys and, and having such a support system with you guys has been like, I, I, I know I like, I spill my guts with you in my DMs. Like we, I feel like we know each other so well and truly one of my biggest like, dopamine hits from my dopamine menu is is the community that we've built oh this is a great great question trying to get into hot girl walks how do you get motivated to go every day i just had a big old spill with my sister about this last night let me wipe my tears away from the last question now i'm pumped again <laughs> I can only imagine what I'm gonna be looking like this whole time with this. I, I thought I was gonna have more of a, like a windblown moment and it feels like I keep getting more like cozy. Let me try to get a little bit more whimsical over here. Anyway, hot girl walks, wow. I just went on a tangent with my sister with this last night so I'm fresh and ready to go with my talking points for hot girl walks. Okay, first and foremost, you have got to have something that has, that gets you out there. At first, that was Luna for me because Luna loves walks so much that I was like, okay, like you have to do this for your child. Like this is what brings her the most joy like you need to do this for her and I'm not kidding y'all I could make it like a lap around our apartment complex before I was like all right I give out we were just park princesses okay and so I really it in that it was finding kind of a leash and a lead and a, a way that she wasn't pulling me that it was a way for com that was comfortable for us so I will link the leash stuff that I use below but we've we've love it then from there honestly it was having something in my ears so my headphones is are my like a, a part of me it's crazy I, I don't have any in right now I know that's shocking to most people but I don't but having something in your ears is so key like whether that be a book whether that be a podcast whether that be music whatever it is and if you need to switch it up switch it up but when I have a good book that I'm looking forward to like I will sometimes go down for a 30 45 minute walk and then I'm gone for two hours because I can't put my butt down or what I love doing is looking and seeing whatever podcast I need to listen to next is it an hour and 11 minutes perfect then my walk today is going to be an hour and 11 minutes so I really try to sync up with what, what's going on in my ear with how <laughs> the length of my walk because that will just keep me going next you really do just find, need to find a pair of comfortable shoes to me a sock combination means just as much I love my aloe socks and a lot of people love the Aritzia socks. I feel like it's just you need to have a couple pair that are those thick good 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 socks because if you're gonna be walking getting those steps in socks are important but with tennis shoes there are so many good tennis shoes I mean I love my Hoka's my New Balance really are my I, I'm a New Balance girl I love my Nike Zooms though there's a lot of good like just walking shoes so go get some that feel comfortable for you but a good pair of walking shoes something in your ear and something to get you out the door but maybe even a cute outfit maybe that is putting a cute outfit on try to find parks near you there's so many cool places to walk like I don't care where you are you're close to a state park look up at the state park near you go walking there just look up walking trails parks near you there are more than you think I promise but truly if I've ever influenced you to do anything I hope that it is like walking <laughs> Okay, there are lots of moving questions. But this one says, favorite things about living in Tennessee? Obviously that my family's there. Obviously that it's just home. I am a Tennessee girl in my heart and I just love the, the rolling hills, the barns, the beauty, the dolly, the willy. I really do just love it. With that said, I know that I've said, I mean, it's I've said it a thousand times. <laughs> I've just hit my max here like I, I I love it and I could see myself living there again maybe but I just have truly lived my entire life in the same little bubble and it's TTG time to go now with that also said when we decided that New York was going to be the next move Annika was like very freshly in high school and obviously since then she has she has blossomed into a, a woman before our eyes and she really genuinely loves her job and she was just recently promoted as you guys have seen this summer she's just gotten some really cool opportunities she is just having the best time learning everything she can with that said we both definitely 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 still feel like it is part of our life's plan to live close to the city we do not have to be on the island of manhattan we can be anywhere within like an hour but like we want to like i am a city girl and like 
Franklin is just still like a, a town to me. I know it's a, it's bigger than whatever anything I've been, lived in before, trust me, but I have been a small town girl. But I want to live in a city where like public transportation is the option. Like y'all know I don't like driving, so like, I really just want to be in the hustle and bustle of it all. And like when my friends were getting to have those like city experiences, I was having to already live in school zones for my child. Like I just really want to have some sort of city experience. Now with that said, if she gets some crazy opportunity like in an actual, if I get a, a crazy opportunity in, in a different city, we would be open to being in, in different cities. We still really, really, really want to live in New York just for a little bit. And I think you guys know that my end goal is to, to end up by a beach one day. But I do have a city girl phase in me first. Okay, last one. It Advice for a young family trying to make it in the world. Enjoy your family. Tune out the outside noise when you can. Every single memory that you make with your family is going to be yours. Like I, I tell all of my friends, all of my friends that we we didn't really have access to like video cameras. We had all we all kind of had like picture phones when Annika was little. But I mean, the iPhone didn't come out until Annika was like three or something. So like we just I don't have any. I don't think I have any videos of her little sweet angelic voice. And y'all y'all would not be okay at her. Her like two and three year old voice was truly the voice of an angel. It was the most soft-spoken southern baby voice in the world and I I wish that I would have just put my phone or put a camera up and like filmed 10 minutes of us eating playing picking out what she wanted to wear for the day like just capture those moments you don't need to capture these moments for social media I mean I feel like people think when you've got your phone out you're filming for it but a lot of times we're filming just for ourselves too like we this thing is full of memories and I wish that I had more like I now I don't even think about putting my phone up and putting it on record but I I wish I would have captured a little bit more of those like intimate moments at home we have lots of pictures we have so many pictures of us like brushing our teeth together and doing cute little grocery runs together and things but I just really wish we had videos and I also also feel like it's so important to realize that you're that every family in this country in the world every family in the world looks different like it took me kind of longer than I needed to realize that my family was me and Annika like that is enough for a family I really feel like we became a family once we got tuna but we we are a family we are a family and I honestly it was watching the Gilmore girls together that like made me realize oh shit like this is all we need this is this is it like we have our village but this is my family so regardless of what your situation looks like regardless of what your family situation looks like it is yours okay well I think that wraps it up hopefully I covered enough I feel like I don't I honestly couldn't even tell you how long that was <laughs> I can't see the screen at all whatsoever so I also hope that I have not flashed you at any point during this and I hope that my little chic vibe that I was going kind of came across thank you guys so much for watching this video if you have made it this far in the video comment some beach emojis. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye!